His journey began in a small upstate New York town called Festal. I always found it amusing that every town above New York City is considered upstate New York. I like to say I'm from South Central New York. Shane lived with his brother and mother in the heart of town during the school week. The brothers would visit their father on the weekends in friends will stage. Our pops lived on the outskirts, and our mom lived in the center. Between Pete and I, we knew most every kid in town. Their dad accepted a transfer to San Jose, California, where he and their stepmom would relocate. The brothers would visit frequently during spring and summer break. I loved California and all the stuff there was to do there. The weather was great. Vestal posted 300 overcast days a year. Kind of like Portland. Soon, Shane would have the urge to move to California for a change in style. I think that I watched too many westerns on TBS, and my mom was always singing. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. I played a lot of Oregon Trail in school. Maybe that drove me to the wild, wild west. San Jose, was I. It definitely was a culture shock. I played trumpet throughout school and used it as a comfort. I was in many, many performances. One of my most memorable shows was when we marched for Clinton's first inaugural parade. I also had the good fortune to march in the world champion drum bugle corps, Santa Clara Vanguard. The amazing Monterey Bay in Santa Cruz also kept me busy. Many a days, my buddies and I would skip class and head out to sponge the surf. Tahoe is another great spot, although it took La Bamba, Harry, and I about four hours. His newfound love for winter sports drove him further north to the beautiful small town of Ashland, Oregon. Here he attended Southern Oregon University. While attending school, Shane kept up with his adventurous spirit and turned into an experienced woodsman. <laughs> I always remember when my old boss, Bill Flieger, came up to me and said, Hey Shane, you want to work with us in AmeriCorps this summer? I could always use an experienced woodsman. Shane went from digging trails and building bridges with AmeriCorps to working for the United States Forest Service on an initial attack engine crew fighting wildland fires. It was just a walk in the woods. Nothing really. Trees falling, rocks rolling, fire. After graduating with a criminology degree, Ashland was starting to get a little small. He decided that Portland was the next logical place to go. Ever since my first visit to Portland, I knew I'd move here someday. Shane has been in Oregon for the past 20 years. Many jobs, careers, friends, and family members have come and gone. It is here that he calls home. I came up with a little slogan. My New York heart got an Oregon transplant. That kind of works, right?